is a data frame. So let me see how many data frames we have created. Four data frames, and now uh, employee data frame five. So just uh, um, create data frame. This methodology is same. Uh, our uh, we are habituated to maintain this uh, PD dot data frame and uh, EMP uh, details three. Okay. Um, and what we are doing here is uh, just we are uh, making use of these details uh, for the construction of the data frame. Uh, data frame five just will be uh, getting the details. Okay, these things ID, first name, last name, designation, experience, email ID, location. Now the uh, thing is, friends, here uh, just we want to apply some uh, group by operations. Okay, so group by is not uh, distinct with uh, SQL kind of function. Group by is the operation where if I'm having certain uh, number of records and uh, I want to perform some kind of grouping of the operation. So suppose in this example, uh, location wise, uh, how many employees are there? I want to apply. Uh, maybe the client is very flexible for us and he is ready to uh, the client is ready to offer uh, the appropriate project. Uh, but only the thing is uh, maybe uh, maybe according to your flexibility, you can uh, uh, run on Chennai location or Bangalore location or Hyderabad location, whichever is okay. Client has given the specification like that. Now it is the turn of us. Uh, we have to see that uh, um, uh, which location is having the rich set of the resources. So maybe uh, that, that is the requirement. So for these kind of the considerations, uh, I, I have to group the appropriate information and uh, accordingly we have to publish the results. Now what I'm doing here is uh, we are taking employee location, the group by, so just as a meaningful name I want to give it. Uh, and uh, employee data frames file, just now we have created. Uh, and we are uh, applying some sort of logic here. Uh, just I want to uh, take the group by option. So group by of whatever the thing. Uh, we are having the name of location. So just uh, I'll be taking this one, the location call. Okay, the location. Uh, so uh, simple, uh, whatever the work I want to do, first I want, I'm uh, fixing the group by of this uh, location. Okay, it is uh, containing now some set of records. Just you see here, if I want to fix this, uh, just it is providing five parts, group data. It is having some kind of a group data. So one more thing guys, if you remember in your um, uh, SQL orientation also, uh, every uh, group by option is tagged with some sort of uh, aggregate functions. Uh, we are having the summation, average, max, min, count, like that. Uh, uh, every time we are uh, having some tagging of uh, those aggregate functions apart from your uh, group by. Okay. So, uh, similarly, uh, here I am having the group of data. Uh, just I am mentioning this group of data. And then I need uh, the count of the resources. On top of that, I want to apply the show method. Okay. So uh, here, uh, what we are uh, trying to get is, uh, we are uh, applying, we are getting the information about uh, the count of uh, members related to the location. Okay. So here is a two-step process. Or else you can uh, mention here, uh, direct as a pipeline, dot count, dot show. Like that also, you can do whatever the uh, means you want. Uh, and moreover, and now the other, uh, other thing we are seeing, Okay, in Chennai, we are having the more resources uh, compared with Bangalore and Hyderabad. Now, do Chennai really uh, has more experience with people or not? Okay, so together, uh, maybe uh, I'm uh, roughly I'm verifying um, the total experience, the sum of experience. It may not be logically correct, friends, but uh, uh, just uh, out of this uh, implementation, just a, a thought came to me. Like on, on these particular uh, locations, uh, I want to submit all the experience of the employee. In a way, it is giving that uh, 
uh, two options it will give one is uh, number of employees would, would be more second is uh, more number of the experienced people would be there in either of the case uh, uh, we can take a meaningful decision if number of uh, resources are there then uh, we can expect uh, uh, the better team building and uh, better productivity and though one or two members lagging is there but we are having the equipped members with uh, uh, experience then in that case also we are happy to uh, launch the project in the corresponding location so for that uh, thing another aggregate uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, this uh, group columns uh, i am uh, expecting the summation of uh, the experience actually so the experience of the person or employees as a total as a total just we are uh, taking the experience of the employee and uh, you can make use of the show method so now you uh, observe what it is giving is in chennai i am having uh, total 27 years of uh, experience together all the members and bangalore compared with uh, chennai very less and in hyderabad also next highest uh, experience the people were having maybe number of people are more or less so obviously in the first thing logically there are more uh, employees exist in uh, chennai location and similarly uh, we are having more experienced uh, some of experience of all the employees uh, on the group basis but in that case also we are having the consideration okay. so likewise uh, you can perform the activity of this uh, group by options and most importantly friends uh, if you go back and uh, verify uh, the uses of uh, map reduce aspect there and uh, uh, we have we are having some kind of uh, logic in our uh, map reduce and the same uh, logic uh, you can simply implement uh, in terms of uh, five spark also with the uh, four lines of the code we have implemented now in that uh, we have used reduce by key map and uh, reduce those kind of the functionalities now let us see uh, how these uh, uh, map function helps definitely this is a transformation uh, how do i make use of this uh, map function let me give a try on the rdd this time creating one rdd now you see here here yes. and whenever the rdd comes into the picture uh, what is the next immediate point park context okay sc dot this time having uh, uh, this parallel if you remember guys uh, while uh, creating the first rdd uh, we have seen this uh, parallel operation okay with list we have created and rdd range with range we have created okay parallel is one operation where it is uh, taking some collection of the data and those collections will be parallelized into the uh, distributed uh, set into the rdd so it is uh, it is giving the resultant as a distributed data set and it will be copied to the rdd uh, now we have just uh, created one object of rdd so what i am taking is one simple example so uh, this thing i have taken now your uh, if you see the rdd obviously it is uh, showing that uh, parallel collection of the data and in rdd uh, i can collect the data okay so there is no show method so whether it is related to the data frame okay just i am having this uh, information nothing new to us here now the point is uh, just what i am doing here is guys uh, just have a look on this i am applying some map uh, function what exactly this map is uh, return me new rdd by applying a function to each and every element of this rdd okay so so just if you are uh, making use of this rdd uh what it does is uh, it is uh, applying okay it is applying a kind of logic uh, to each element so whatever the logic i am specifying it is reflecting to all the elements now along with the map friends we are having one more function called uh, uh, a lambda function so this lambda function is very uh, handy uh, because while performing some activity uh, in the inline mode so generally uh, you need to call a function and then uh, while calling the function we have to submit the arguments and those arguments are carried to the called function uh, and and they are going to substitute in the calling function again it is going to return back the result after implementation there are lot of uh, switchings are there okay uh, so so as to avoid that particular thing 
whenever you want to implement uh, simple logics you need not worry about the uh, these many uh, bottlenecks of the functions if you if you to see the features of the function the function may incur some additional timing compared with the implementation maybe calling the function and uh, carrying the argument and again implementation may uh, require some less amount of the time when compared with all these other operations uh, revolving around the function so to avoid that thing a simple inline uh, mode of functions can uh, can be used that is known as the lambda function okay just to see guys here i am giving the input and what i am expecting as output is i want to add 10 to each element and then i want to collapse this okay and total thing i want to display the result so there is a print method and you can mention this see uh, simple things rdd is actually having one two three four these elements i'm having now i'm fetching each and every element one uh, what should i do uh, because of the lambda function the logic is uh, before that we are having the map function actually map what it does is whatever the functionality i'm having the functionality is simple uh, if i'm getting x value then i have to return the x plus 10 value that's it okay so now what i'm doing here so just this map is going to fetch the rdd and first it is going to submit one one plus ten two two plus ten three three plus ten and four plus ten because map makes sure that whatever the uh, input i am giving and whatever the logic i am having inside that map this logic is going to apply on each and every number of the corresponding uh, rtd now you observe here so the resultant is uh, simple so each and every number will be added with uh, Maybe the logic is pretty simple for us guys because uh, you know maybe adding the number that is not the case here. The point here is uh, whatever I am writing the code in the lambda function that is replicating by the map function. Okay, so that is how you can uh, specify your uh, uh, map understanding. Now the quite natural uh, method where we can use in the transformation is the flat map actually. What exactly this flat map is? So uh, just I'm creating one more RGD. Okay, let, uh, let me show you the uh, outcome so that you can uh, feel uh, what exactly the uh, map does. Now, uh, just I'm having some code snippet with me, uh, some details. We are implementing capstone. Okay, so we are implementing capstone. Um, so come on the, with the HDFS map reduce five two and uh, spark. Okay, this is the uh, thing, and of course there is no matter whether I'm using the numbers or whether I'm using the RG, uh, strings. Okay, I'm free to use any kind of thing. RDD one dot. Just I'm collecting the data. So just it is giving us a, a kind of information because this is a list. As I am mentioning this in the brackets, it is a list. Now, uh, I want to apply the flat map, friends. Have a look on this. How do I apply? So just I am taking the flat map. Uh, again, the lambda function is mandatory because I have to specify the logic. Uh, you take the input and uh, there is one function called split function, friends, actually. Okay, split is a function uh, which uh, uh, segregates the corresponding boards. So splitting the, in the sense, uh, suppose I'm having the space in between the boards, I want to split that. Uh, and once that uh, splitting process is over, I want to collect the data. Okay, so now you observe here. So what it does is, uh, Initially, we are collected uh, this information. We are implementing capstone with the HDFS, map reduce, high scoop, and spark. Now, uh, the flat map, what it does is, uh, it is uh, similar to the map, but uh, it is going to split the appropriate things. Okay, whatever the flat map we are talking, that particular flat map is a method where I can uh, uh, distribute, where I can perform some kind of the activities. So like, you know, shift tab if I'm giving, 
return a new RGD by first applying a function to all elements similar to the map of this RGD and flattening the results. The result, you know, guys, uh, just it is going to split the appropriate results and it is uh, individualizing the results. Okay, so split, of course, uh, uh, separates uh, the appropriate data item and your flat map will segregate. Just it is uh, individualizing all the results and uh, finally, we are going to get uh, the outcome as this thing. See, we are implementing capstone with HDFS, MR, Hive, Swoop, and Spark. Like that, it is going to perform the activity. So, and the split maybe you can use in a different zoner. Here, space I have used. Maybe you can uh, use some sort of comma or uh, uh, whichever. Okay, so uh, there are may many ways, friends, uh, uh, based on the requirement. It's not the only one comma is there, no? so that it is uh, every time it is putting that. Okay, rather uh, it is be always better to. Uh, specify with uh, space so that I can uh, get this uh, kind of the representation. Okay, it all depends according to a requirement and especially the word count. Uh, uh, the main important uh, thing is uh, uh, we are making use of the conventions uh, like uh, some of the words I'm having. First, I need to split that and then I want to apply the count. And in PySpark, it is uh, quite easy, easy okay, compared with the map reduce. But that is not our uh, interest. And uh, the most commonly used construct is uh, reduce by key method friends. One more thing. Reduce by key uh, is uh, quite uh, helpful to us. Um, okay, so let me do in this way. Let me pick up some data for us. Actually, these, this data uh, is nothing but uh, which is giving us uh, some sort of uh, uh, scores. Uh, maybe the assessment one and assessment two scores. Um, based on these scores, uh, maybe the managers can decide uh, whether I can put him in the project or not, something like that. So, or in the certification, maybe we are having the internal as well as the external exam, and together uh, they should score some certain uh, values. So, now here uh, uh, we are adding the name of the employee and as well as the uh, marks scored. And, uh, and like that, uh, uh, here uh, maybe you can see multiple times the same employee uh, in the same RDD. The reason to say that uh, this is the first assessment, maybe the second assessment. And in case of uh, Bala, also we are adding multiple records, but a uh, few people uh, are not uh, repeated. So, like Vedant and like uh, Srinthi. So, these guys are, these members are not repeated. That means say that they scored well in the first exam or else they may be uh, absent for the second exam. Reason might be whatever. Uh, something like that we have taken the input. Now this RDD, uh, just we are uh, having that uh, person information along with the mark score. Uh, and now the interest here is friends, uh, uh, there are certain uh, um, aspects I want to perform. So I want to take this uh, RDD2 and I want to apply the reduce by key, reduce by key. Then lambda, as I said, this is a common uh, functionality. I'm having two inputs here, name and as well as the corresponding marks. The name I cannot add now, definitely I, I want to add the values. So how it performs is your reduce by key, just it is uh, taking the name and corresponding values will be added. Okay, once this, uh, code is executed, uh, you can easily realize that what it does. So just I'm collecting this and uh, together I want to print out the entire access. So I'm printing this result. Now you will see here, so reduce by key what it does is uh, based on the key. So based on the key, so Harish uh, together got 50, Dev got 44 and Vedant got 34, Srinidhi got 24, Dakoma got 50. And Bala got 56. So like that, uh, I'm, I can, uh, uh, no matter how many times a uh, corresponding name is repeating, but it is uh, trying to pick up, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, making use of that key and it is uh, reduced, okay, it is going to reduce the appropriate information. Now, if you see the documentation, you are reduced by key, just some kind of the functionality I can give, merge the value for each key using an associative and commutative reduce function. This will also perform the merging locally on each method before sending the result to your 
reduce that. So this is uh, very much similar to our uh, combiner logic. So actually in, in combiner, uh, you know guys, uh, combiner is a kind of the functionality where it acts as a local reducer. So now in the reduce by key of uh, parts also, we are having the same kind of the functionality. Okay, so uh, just if you are uh, making use of this convention, um, how do I manage the things? Okay, just according to the requirement based on the key, just it is going to compute the values. Okay, it is just uh, picking up and uh, uh, doing the activity. And and uh, moreover, uh, if you observe some other thing, uh, some sort by key, uh, where I want to perform some kind of activities, uh, maybe I can take uh, extending and I want to collect the final data. And finally, I want to print it. So print off uh, all these kind of the conventions. Okay, now you see some uh, I'm having some RGD and I want to know that uh, of which are all the uh, data items I'm having and I want to sort the data. So sorting is actually we, we have seen, but sort by key is different things uh, because I'm having the key value pairs here. And if I want to uh, put that uh, uh, whatever the key I'm having, so like name here, we are taking the key and the uh, uh, corresponding uh, marks I am taking the values. So based on those kind of the conventions, uh, you can do that. Yeah. According to the requirements, it doesn't mean that you have to use the map or reduce by key or something like this. There is no restriction. And whenever there is a requirement, uh, this time projecting all these possibilities uh, in front of you. Uh, and moreover, uh, one more convention uh, I can say, uh, like we are having some RTD, uh, this information we are having. However, uh, this is the source RDD. Uh, source RDD we are having. Uh, now, uh, just on top of this RDD, if I want to apply a group by key, okay, if I want to apply a group by key and uh, I am collecting and it is giving the group of data items, I cannot print that uh, RDD group. Just I am uh, storing this data, whatever the outcome I am having. Uh, now, a little trick I need to apply from here. So, if you see rdd underscore g dot uh, collect, uh, it cannot give anything, friends. Otherwise, rdd2 dot uh, collect, it is suggesting many things. Whereas, rdd uh, underscore g dot, if I am giving, I am only having these things. Okay, it's not giving any uh, collect or something uh, because it is a group of data items. So, uh, for this, uh, I cannot directly apply any logic on this. I even I cannot uh, show the result of that. And uh, however, our data is exist in the key value pair. So what I'm doing here is logically uh, for whatever the key and value I'm having in. So I'm having all the data in this uh, uh, RDD G, that is RDD group by now simply print that friends okay because the uh, uh, key i am having and as well as i want to print the value okay now you see just you can see that uh, um, okay just it is uh, giving that some information because this uh, kind of the value uh, or else let me yeah, yeah this is giving some kind of indirect value okay uh, we can do like this. Uh, we can convert that into the list actually. Uh, now you see uh, this. This gives the meaningful information. So earlier also you can see Harish, Dev, Vedant, JDB, Dr. Uma, Bala, like that it has given. Uh, but that that uh, again you need to surf and do the do some kind of the operation. Whereas uh, I am having some issue with the values now. The keys are okay. Values so. I'm collecting all the values. Now you, you can easily observe here. Uh, these guys uh, appear twice, Harish, and they also appear twice. Vedant only once, Trinity once, Dr. Uma twice, and Bala twice. So that means uh, here itself, uh, the group by what it does is, uh, it is picking up, uh, it is fetching all the information from the corresponding uh, key value, and then it is going to uh, give us the observation, okay? It all depends on you guys, maybe reduce by key or group by key or sort by key, whatever the operations we are having, we can free to use those kind of conventions. And actions are quite uh, simple. 
let me take one uh, example of the rtd so that uh, rather than taking the big uh, data set uh, i want to give a glance of uh, this thing uh, so we are creating a uh, rtd now uh, of course some of the uh, actions i'm having count uh, this is not new for us because from uh, while using the transformations uh, to execute the transformation itself we need to apply the action so majority of actions we have seen already so rdd1.count uh, which is giving the number of elements uh, present in that of course count is an action and thereafter uh, if i want to uh, get the first element of the uh, corresponding rdd so just there is a uh, function called uh, first i can pick up only the first element maybe uh, like a sample kind of thing and similarly uh, this thing also we have seen guys take off uh, first two elements I, i need to have so collect is a method where it is giving the entire information whereas you were uh, first and take uh, all these things are uh, customizations actually according to your requirement uh, you can make use of that convention and there is one more function called uh, reduce actually reduce is surprisingly the action <laughs> so map and all uh, is a Uh, transformation but reduce it has to give some outcome now so what i'm doing here is uh, let me take uh, some rdd3 or rdd4 uh park context uh, this time i'm creating one more uh, uh, rdd so some numbers some random numbers i'm taking so what i'm doing here is guys uh, this time applying uh, some reduce uh reduce functionality uh, definitely i should uh, mention the inline function um uh, uh, see uh, if i am having only a single value also how do i achieve this uh, functionality have a look on this guy okay so this function and uh, i want to print the result of this function uh, uh, have a look on this this is giving the summation actually okay 6 plus uh, 4 n 13 and 14 uh the understanding is like this just it is copying 13 first and it is adding the 4 and again that 4 is kept at x and again 4 is there 4 comma 4 it will it will be added 4 plus 4 8 now 8 is uh, placed at uh, x and now 6 is coming 14 okay final result okay the reduce functionality okay just you can uh, see the documentation here Reduce the elements of this RDD using the specified commutator and associated to binary operator. Currently, reduces partition slope and leg. Okay, so currently in the sense maybe they deprecate or they add uh, uh, some other functionalities because these are all open sources and uh, high demanded uh, um, uh, tools, friends. Okay, at any point of time they may give us uh, some sort of uh, uh, you know changes and all. Okay. now i am having some data with me that is uh, rdd1 uh, what exactly that data is let me see rdd1.collect now uh, maybe this data or any other data i want to store somewhere okay so rdd1. save as text file this this is also new for us guys in case of hadoop we have seen Uh, while implementing uh, that uh, map uh, this uh, word count with five spark the last statement is this one only so so as to mention the uh, details of that uh, storage what i am doing here is uh, uh, data store okay so data store dot uh, txt just i have saved that uh, uh, file uh, just i am running it is not giving any Just it is uh, making some spark job, uh, and now I, I have to see where this resides actually. So go to this uh, thing, and we are having uh, this data friends actually. So just go to the data, um, and you select this click table, create table, and you will be having some S3 DBFS and all. Click on this DBFS, okay. So now you see data store dot txt. Just now we have created this one. so uh, this data store dot txt stored in this fashion okay some successfully stored and uh, something is remain recollecting so this is uh, in terms of uh, uh, while performing some map reduce kind of aspect uh, uh, data is going to store in partitions 
okay how do i see this thing is uh, uh, actually save as text file just i am giving the storage what i am doing here is just i am going to this and i can uh, select the data and here uh, there is one option called create table directly you cannot see the details friends okay just to create table and there upload file s3 dbfs something like that this upload file is something uh, where if you want to uh, work with some external data like csv or those kind of things but now we are uh, uh, working with uh, we have saved that particular data now itself here just you click on this uh, database file system this is dbfs click on this and this uh, data underscore stored dot table just now we have stored in this way you can observe okay this is also one uh, kind of the action save as uh, text file uh, and uh, moreover friends the count by key is there uh, where again we'll be going back and getting this rdd2 because in the meantime i used the rdd2 with other uh, activities now i want to uh, go with this rdd2 only our data actually so just let us uh, run this now our rdd Two dot uh, collect containing this information. Uh, yes, we are having this information now. There is one more option actually. So RDD two dot. Uh, uh, let me uh, give you this count by uh, key actually count by key. Um, uh, this is uh, containing some other uh, values friends actually count by key. Uh, I want to fetch the items actually. So like. Like you know, uh, if you observe the dictionary, there is a key value pair. Friends, together. Uh, suppose I can say like this. Suppose I am having a dictionary. Uh, the dictionary is uh, created uh, like this. Dictionary equal to. This time creating the dictionary like this. Emp uh, id colon one zero zero one and uh, e name. Uh, some kind of the name I am giving in the single quotes as this is a text. Now uh, this uh, this is a key and this is a value. And if you uh, if you want to get together, so of course the uh, EMP uh, ID is a key. And uh, uh, this one zero zero one is the value. Whereas, uh, if you want to get this uh, together, uh, maybe whatever the ID I am having, um, uh, uh, ID along with the value. Okay, this is the item friends actually. Okay, item is combination of the key and value, so the complete item. So now this car, what I am doing here is I want to get the complete items. Uh, and uh, this outcome I am storing as a count of values because it is giving the count by key. Uh, now, if you refer this thing, and uh, as how I have done in case of the group by, if I am clicking this, uh, uh, just it is giving some sort of uh, information. Okay. So, but my requirement is uh, I want to work with the items. Okay. Same thing. If uh, if any of the corresponding thing, maybe if I am making the type of this uh, RDD underscore C, let us see what exactly it gives. It's a dictionary friend actually. It's a dictionary. Even in case of group by also, uh, if you see this thing, where we have applied some group by, uh, group by recently we have applied uh, reduce, uh, group by key applied. Uh, so that, that also one sort of uh, dictionary. So whenever uh, you are uh, getting this kind of the outcome in terms of dictionary, you should use the key value. That is a pretty simple thing. Na? So maybe you are having some doubt. How when? Uh, how do I know whether I need to apply key value kind of thing? Very simple. So just uh, see the type of that particular returned uh, RDD. Now you can uh, simply apply uh, print of uh, uh, key and as well as the value. Okay. So now. The count by key, what it does is uh, just it is giving he appear twice, Pala appear twice, Vedant only appears one time, Srinidhi appear one time. So, in the earlier thing, uh, maybe indirectly we got the marks also, but this time uh, related to this key, how many times this guy has repeated? Maybe at times, you know, um, 
like uh, certifications i want the number of certification he has done just with the help of the count by key okay like so such kind of uh, customizations were having many many cases uh, right in case of five parts so uh, there is no uh, limitation there is no ending actually but i uh, compiled uh, most frequently used the kind of the narrow and uh, wide transformation along with the actions so that with this uh, definitely you can venture so all the further activities so the first you should be very clear about uh, these kind of the conventions and then you can uh, follow up the remaining activities okay so with this uh, uh, yeah luckily i i could able to finish these uh, transformations and action today itself right rather uh, postponing to tomorrow because uh, the single slot is required uh, so as to maintain the momentum of this uh, understanding because otherwise again uh, we need to have the launch pad and uh, uh, those kind of things okay so that's all that's all for today's session and uh, uh, of course uh, the key takeaways however uh, tomorrow will uh, see uh, and and related to the uh, capstone so just if any other members want to register just ping me accordingly i'll uh, shuffle you in the corresponding batches okay so that is one more option and at least by today evod uh, just you can uh, share the details with me uh, so that i can uh, embed you in the existing batches and by tomorrow uh, in the tomorrow session i'll try to explain the project otherwise uh, uh, tomorrow evening oh, uh, just uh, i'll give the guidelines friends okay so just i'll give the guidelines and then uh, generally the documentation contains everything Uh, just you can uh, go through, and uh, we'll see the tomorrow itself. We'll decide the uh, submission time and as well as the presentation uh, time. Okay, so that your the calendars will be blocked accordingly. You can uh, practice uh, things. Okay, so with that, uh, okay, uh, uh, we are stopping here. So thank you, thank you very much for your uh, support and uh, patient listening, and practice well. and uh, let me know if you are having any doubts uh, uh, in the in the teams or slack so that i can uh, guide you uh, for the clarification okay thank you thank you friends thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir